Remember the last time we did a video comparing chap fun prizes in Kota Damansara? This time we're gonna talk about nasi kanda. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to Kota Damansara, all the seven nasi kanda shop there, and we're gonna buy the same nasi kanda with the same lao, and we're gonna compare their prizes. Let's go. Okay, so Peter, where are we going right now? Uh, we are going to look for nasi kanda. Okay, so what do you think about nasi kanda prizes these days? Nasi kanda is uh, quite expensive in my opinion. Sometimes until today, I still don't know how to they really calculate the price. And today, we're on a mission to find out in terms of nasi kanda, is there going to be a difference in terms of different shops? So, out of the five shops that we're going today, the five nasi kanda shops, which one do you think is the most expensive and the cheapest? I got a feeling the most expensive will be Kayu nasi kanda. In terms of the cheapest one, which one do you think will be? Khalifa! I faith in Khalifa because it's my staff's favourite canteen. There has to be a reason that they're going there, right? Okay, so we decided that we're going to get standard dishes uh, which is uh, rice, ayam goreng, the kubis, and then telur mata. Yeah, and then ask them to mix all the kwa. I wonder if they charge us for the kwa. So we are here at the first one called... What is this place called? This is Padang. Okay. Used to be my favourite because uh, every time at night I come here, they, they have some pretty good food. But one thing nowadays I don't like them is because they refuse to let you use QR pay. I find that super, 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 super behind. Super, behind. super annoying. So this is what I do shop. Okay, let's go. <laughs> oh, look at the food, man. No, but I see nasi kanda, right? I see the fried chicken, right? I find that those very attractive ones got a lot of other rampa rampa on the side there. Fat fat there. These don't look very lean. Uh. Look very dry. Uh, kwa champo. Oh, look good here, the kwa here. Uh, ayam goreng. Bagi dada. Sayo bagi kobis. Bagi satu telur mata. I think it's going to be 8 bucks. What do you think? Sky, what do you think? How much is this? Let's take a wild guess. How bucks? Uh? Ooh. Brapa? Uh, we are going to Kayu Nasi Kanda next. Remember, it always go into newspaper because it overcharge clients. Yeah. Remember, it like, charge like crazy, like 200 bucks for one meal that time. Okay, now we are Kayu. Let's get our Nasi Kanda. Bungkus. Nasi putih. Nasi putih. Look at the difference of the chicken. Ayam bagi dada, bagi kobis, telur robust, kwa champo. Say, guess how much, guess how much, guess how much. 13 okay. ringgit. 15. 15. Okay, boss. Thank you. Thank you. So, right now we are at Khalifa. Uh, we're gonna do the exact same thing. Let's see. Here got telur goreng. But to make it fair, since all the shop, we order telur robust, then telur robust. Uh. I can't help but to think that the chicken here looks fresher than Kayu. Kobis habis, ah. Uh. Bagi ini lah. Haga sama. Okay. Ayam bagi dada. Ayam goreng. Hey, bungkus, ah. Uh. Sorry, boss. Thank you. Right now we are at Q Bistro. Oh, I didn't know got such thing. 20% off. Woo. Nasi setengah, ayam goreng dada, telur rebus, kobis, kuah campur. Oh, so they have all the prices here for this one. So very clear. But I have to say the chicken here looks smaller. Huh? Thank you. Uh... Okay. Alright, now we are the oldest nasi kanda in Malaysia, Hamidaya. Nasi putih setengah, ayam goreng looks good. All the prices are there. Ayam goreng dada, kuah campur, telur rebus, sayur bagi kobis. Okay lah, their food look not bad. At least by looks, it looks not bad. Thank you, boss. Alright. Thank you. Alright, now we are on the next Mama A1 Bistro. Okay, we well, yeah, here, no bad. Huh? Nasi is paro, bungkus ah, kuah campur. Bro. The ayam, okay lah. Okay. Oh, this one, kuah campur, really campur everything for you there. Okay, bagi ayam dada, bagi telur rebus, bagi sayur ada kopi lagi. Okay, ini lah. Thank you, boss. You okay lah, the chicken here, is it? Not bad lah, the chicken. Chicken look better here. Okay, bungkus, nasi is paro. Ayam goreng dada, telur rebus satu, kopi, kuah campur. Thank you, boss. So right now, we have all the nasi kanda on the table and I will announce which nasi kanda is the most expensive and which one is the cheapest. But before that, why not you pause the video and guess which one is the most expensive and the cheapest in the comments below. Okay, are you ready? Alright, and now we're back and what we're looking at, the most expensive nasi kanda we have here is the one from... Drum roll! Hamidaya! Which is this one at the price of 15 ringgit and 45 cents. Then, the cheapest is no doubt the one from Padang Kota which is 8 ringgit and 25 cents which is 
this one at 8 ringgit and 25 cents. Now, since we ordered the same thing for every single shop, we get an idea of how much do they charge for per item. What I noticed was this. Hamidaya has the most expensive chicken because each of the chicken is charged at 8 ringgit and 70 cents if I recall correctly. So that's the most expensive. The cheapest is about 5 ringgit and 50 cents. That will be in Padang Kota. But price is not everything, right? It also comes down to the size. This is what I noticed actually. When you want to talk about size, the one in Q Bistro where they charge about 6 ringgit and 50 cents for chicken, they actually have the smallest piece of ayam goreng among everyone else. But does it taste better? I'm really not sure, right? And, and since I'm not a food blogger, I shall not comment on the taste that much. And for the rest of the other shops, generally they are charging at around 5 ringgit plus to 6 ringgit plus and Kayu obviously is the next most expensive one, right? Where they charge about 6 ringgit and 50 cents for one piece of chicken. The rest of the other lao, we are talking about veggie and uh, telo, uh, generally is about 1 ringgit and 50 cents up to about 2 ringgit and 50 cents depending on the shop. However, I do have to say this, I understand why is there a difference in charges. I mean, firstly, if you talk about the shop itself, uh, how they actually beautify the shop, making it a nice environment to sit and the staff's cleanliness to a certain extent, how they were to wear and the way they serve the customer, there is a slight difference when it comes to the shops that are slightly more expensive. I definitely feel a lot more appeal in terms of uh, Kayu, right? Where I go over there, the staff are much more uh, well-mannered and the way that they serve you also feels a bit more systematic and more clean to a certain extent. However, when you go to the cheaper shops, it may feel like you're just entering a very normal mamak store. Uh, however, if money is the priority, then that shouldn't be a problem. Just go to the cheaper shop. So for me, at the end of the day, which shop will I go to? I would say, I will go to Khalifa. <laughs> Which makes me understand why my staff go there. Khalifa is charging 11 ringgit for the same set of nasi kanda. It's not the most expensive one, it's not the cheapest one. In fact, it is the cheapest one after Padang Kota. And Padang Kota, was just very hot and the environment wasn't very nice and as I mentioned just now, I don't like them because they don't allow me to pay a QR. But Khalifa is just nice. The portion that they serve is great, it is pretty big, the chicken look tasty enough and it just fits all the right spot while at the same time giving me the best price. And not only that, they accept debit card, they also accept QR code. So it makes it much more easier for me to make payment. What about the nasi kanda shop that I will not go after this? Well, the answer is Bistro. Simply because the portion that they give is pretty small. Their chicken, among all these shops here, their chicken is the smallest. And their chicken is one of the most expensive, 6 ringgit and 50 cents. Now, I understand Hamidaya is definitely more expensive. We are talking about 8 ringgit, but at least the portion is big, right? So I feel like I'm paying for the value. As compared to Q Bistro, for other shops, they are charging me 5 ringgit and 6 ringgit who are cheaper than them, they are giving me the smallest portion of chicken. And I'm not just talking about the chicken that they give me. Literally, the whole plate there, all the chicken are small. So, I feel like I'm not getting my value when I go there. So, if I just want to go to somewhere where that's nicer with aircon and I feel good, a little bit more atas mama, I'd rather go to Kayu or Hamidaya. Hamidia. <laughs> so that's just my personal thought, my finding and conclusion with my team. What do you guys think, especially you folks who are actually staying nearby Kota Damansara? Tell us in the comments below.